Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Here we are going to learn one important thing to represent under root 3 on the number line. This is one of the important construction to represent irrational number on the number line. We know that what is the value of root 3? We don't know. Ex exactly we know that it is 1.73. But if it is given in the format of root, then how do you represent it directly on the number line that we are going to learn in this session? Let us see. To represent any number on this, this kind of irrational number on the number line, first of all, I have draw the number line. I have taken that point O is a origin. Origin means I'll I can consider that point will be equal to coordinate 0. Now, uh, first of all, we have to take one unit. What is the meaning of one unit? One unit is equal to any centimeter you should take. Here you can see I have taken that this is 3 centimeter is equal to 1 unit. So I have taken OA is equal to, I will write it, that is OA is equal to 1 unit. But remember it, 3 centimeter I have taken as a 1 unit, then I have to take the AB also equal to 1 unit. Means that AB also, if I write it 1 unit, it means it is also equal to 3 centimeter. And that should be perpendicular. Perpendicular means it should make the 90 degree angle along with the OA. So you should see here that it is this is also 3 centimeter that I have taken now I will join this two that is point O and point B let us join it now we have to represent under root 3 for that we should implement the Pythagoras theorem you know Pythagoras theorem we know the Pythagoras theorem that Pythagoras theorem indicates that in right angle triangle square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the square of both the sides forming right angle. So I should write it that OB square is equal to I can write it that is OA square plus AB square. What is the measure of OA I have taken that is equal to one unit I took. This is also AB also I have taken it to be one unit. So I should keep the value that OA is equal to 1 that is 1 square plus AB is also equal to 1. So I should write it 1 plus 1 that is 1 square plus 1 square is equal to OB square. We know that that for that is OB square is equal to 1 square is equal to 1, 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2. So therefore OB square is equal to 2 therefore OB is equal to under root 2. So first of all we should represent this OB is equal to under root 2. So I should take this measure OB that is equal to under root of 2. So I have taken this measure look at here that is this O to B exactly I should take it up to B this one you can see OB this is equal to root 2. So I will take this and I will draw the arc which intersect to our original line at this specific point. Let me say this point. This point I will give it to be B or I can it is say B dash because we have already kept it B here. So I should write it that is B dash. So this distance from here to here this would be equal to under root 2. So I should write it OB is equal to under root 2. So this measure I have taken on the number line. So OB dash is equal to under root 2. That is OB dash is equal to root 2. So this is how you can represent root 2. But we have to represent under root 3. For that what you have to do? Again from this point B dash I will take it perpendicular line with 3 centimeter measure because we have taken 3 centimeter is equal to 1 unit. So I will draw the perpendicular here. This one. So this is also I have taken it to be 1 unit. 1 unit. Now what to do? Now I will join this. Let me give the name of this point. Let me say this point to be C. This point. I will join this OC. I will join O and C. Let us join this one I join now let us calculate again this is perpendicular so again in triangle O B dash C O B dash C is a right 
triangle so as it is right angle triangle we can implement pythagoras theorem as per the pythagoras theorem we know that this oc square is equal to we know that ob dash square ob dash square plus cb dash square cb dash square so what is the measure of oc let us try to find out oc square is equal to this ob dash we know that ob dash is equal to under root 2 so i'll put it here under root 2 whole square plus what is cb cb we have taken cb dash cb dash i have taken to be one unit so it is one square therefore oc square is equal to root 2 square is equal to 2 plus 1 square is equal to 1 so i should write it oc square is equal to 3 therefore oc is equal to under root of 3 means the measure of oc will be equal to under root 3 this is what i got this is root 3 so represent it on the number line i will take from measure o to c i should take it o to c this one this is o and this is c oc and then by putting it here i will draw the arc by taking this measure oc which intersect here at some point let me say that point taken to be d this oc is equal to root 3 means here in this figure we can write it that from point o to d this one will be equal to under root of 3 so this is how you can represent under root 3 on the number line